Hi guys, Adam from Middles Panel Builders, and I'm excited to be in 915 Mike Whiskey as we're getting ready to get it flying. We're in the final push here, and uh, one of the last things that we have to do before we uh, get it in the air is do our calibrations. So we're going to cover, uh, in a few different videos, we're going to cover different calibrations. This one's going to cover attitude. So we're going to calibrate the GSU-25C, the G5, and also the autopilot controller, which is something probably a bit new for most people. Uh, but we'll show you what that's all about here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to start in configuration mode on both the G3X and the G5. Uh, we'll do the G3X first. So what we do here is we go to 80 AHARS. And the first thing you need to do is make sure that your unit orientation is set properly. On our panels and the slings, it's tube aft, tubes aft, connectors down. Uh, on other aircraft, they, that may not be the same configuration. So the first thing you're going to want to do is if you have located this yourself in your own airplane, you're going to want to do the engine run-up test because that's going to check for vibration um, at different RPM settings and stuff and make sure that the AHARS is not going to be a problem where it is. This is a known good location for us in the slings, so uh, we're not worried about it in this case. So what we want to do is the pitch roll offset first. So we're going to hit that. And uh, there's some instructions on here. Make sure that you got the correct orientation. Make sure the aircraft is level to its normal cruise flight attitude. Now that's important. We've got this aircraft set up right now at that point. You need to look at the maintenance manual for your aircraft to figure out what level of flight attitude is. There's other things on here that you can look at, but uh, we'll just go ahead and hit start. Now you got to wait 30 seconds, and the aircraft has to be as still as humanly possible. Okay, the pitch roll offset calibration on the G3X display was a success, so we're going to hit done. And that's it for now come back and the next one we're going to do is the autopilot controller so if you don't know the GMC 507 actually has an AHARS built into it and what that enables is for the autopilot to cross check the AHARS data that's being fed from the G3X system to make sure that everything's kosher uh, so what we do is on the autopilot page on configuration mode there's an option here that says flight control system monitors we want to make sure that's enabled and then you get two extra options when that happens First one says mode control panel pitch roll. We're going to do that right now. We're going to hit calibrate and hit calibrate. And that's it. That's as fast as it goes. We're, we're done already. The next one is the control panel yaw offset. So yaw offset is if this was turned and it wasn't perfectly flat to the, um, to the yaw axis of the aircraft as you're flying, you would want to modify that. But in this case, in the sling in particular, it is flat to the yaw axis of the aircraft, so we don't have to worry about that. Finally, we're going to move over to the G5. G5 is very simple. We go to attitude. We go down to calibrate pitch roll. The G5 also has a yaw offset and a vibration test, uh, but again, we don't need to do that in this case. So we're going to hit calibrate, and again, 30 seconds of being perfectly still. So I'll start that now, and we'll wait until it's complete. Okay, the G5's calibration was successful, so we're going to hit done, and we're going to go back, and now we're going to exit configuration mode here, and then on the G3X, we're going to hit save and reboot here, and then uh, that's it. We've done the calibration of the AHARS, so I'm going back to normal mode just to verify that everything agrees, and then the next thing we'll do is turn on the autopilot, make sure it stays engaged, and so long as that happens, then we're good to go. Okay, so we're back into uh, normal pilot mode here, and the only thing we're going to do, first of all, make sure that your attitude is uh, matching between the G5 and the G3X. The last thing I'm going to do is engage the autopilot, and if it stays engaged and doesn't automatically kick off, then that means that this agrees with the uh, G3X as far as autopilot pitch roll. Okay, so it would have already kicked off if it was a problem. So this is a good time also to test our disconnect switches on the sticks. So I push the disconnect button. You can see that the autopilot's flashing on the screen and that the carrot went away on the control panel. I'll do that with the co-pilot side and we're good to go. That is it for calibrating the three AHARs, at least in this aircraft. I have to stress the importance of doing all three of them in the exact same place at the exact same time. Because if you do the G3X at one point, and then you do the G5 at one point, uh, they're not going to perfectly match, and you could have miscompare errors, or at the very least, 
you'll have an annoying situation where the G5 and the G3X look just a little bit different. So doing everything all at once, make sure that everything will be 100% perfect when you're flying. Thanks for watching this video. We've got more calibrations coming up soon. Our next one's going to be calibrating the trim and flat positions on the G3X system.